All right, guys, for the first time, I'm going to try to record something. Right now, the course isn't very full. Spring Creek, Hershey, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's the course where I always play. Not, I'm not adverse to playing other places, but this is my home course. I literally live a minute and a half that direction. The way I'm going to be fling driving here shortly, I'm behind a threesome, so that should give me some time to do this. This is hole number one. I fling from the front tees because it's still about 330 yards. And I play so often, I gotta save my shoulders. I'm at 51 years old, if I fling from the first two front tees, that saves my strength to play as much as I do. If I fling from the back on every tee, I am worn out midway through the week. My muscles are, I'm tired, I lose distance. So I've discovered that if I just go from the front on the first two, that pretty much does the job for me. So hole number one, Spring Creek Golf Course, Hershey, Pennsylvania, right along Chocolate Avenue, if you hear the traffic, um, about 330 yards from this front tee coming up here shortly. Uh, hopefully I can keep this up, and of course it doesn't get so crowded that I have to really move it, you know, and not hold people up. But I'm already behind a threesome, like I said, so I'll be going here shortly because they're out of range for me now. So here we go. Not as far as I like, but that's usually how hole number one is for me. It's almost like a warm-up. Not, not a bad shot. We'll see where I am. I think I'm up near the first bunker. Uh, I'll see if I can get a shot of that. There's a bunker there. It's usually where I get to, and then I get on the green on the second shot, typically. So we'll see what's up next. Not great, guys. Um, <clears throat> that was a very short fling for me. I normally get up around the middle of that bunker straight ahead of us, and instead I'm right here. Um, camera angle, you can't see the ball, but I'm going to pick it up and fling it anyway, right? Uh, but yeah, typically I'm up around the middle of that bunker right ahead of me, and I am, oh good lord, 25 yards behind it. So that means this is probably like 130 to 140 yard shot. And I've got to make the green see if I can get the angle here don't know if you can if you can see it but I got to make the green right up there at the end of this stick um, so I'll probably be a little short because this one was short this was a short drive for me uh, just chalk it up as being the first one of the day Love to make the green from here, but it's probably not likely. I'm capable, but again, first hole of the day, 7.44 in the morning, let's see what I can do. Pretty close, but I think it's going to be just off the green, but with my short game, I should be all right. All right, guys, I'm like, I don't know, 12, 15 yards to the pin, just off the green, like I thought I would be close, uh, about a 200 yard shot, um, but just shy of the green. It should be fine, though. The pin's not that far. I'm going to use the choke up shot here. <laughs> I missed that thing by less than an inch. Unbelievable. the 
ball. I'm 20 inches away from the hole. I used the choke shot for my approach. So I drove shortly off the green, only about 140 yards. Then I hit, I don't know, probably 90 yards. Yeah, 85 yards for my second. And then my third was just the choke shot where I choke up a little bit and flick it. It rolled right over the edge of the hole. It was a little hard. Landed about 16 to 18 inches away. So this would be my birdie putt here. There we go. That'd be a birdie on hole number one at Spring Creek. Moving on to hole number two. The only other one where I hit from the front pins again to save some of my strength as I play so often. This will be the third time I've played 18 holes in two days. So let's go to hole number two. All right, guys, uh, this is hole number two. We're getting the yardage. Give me a second. Okay, guys, hole number two, it's about 250 yards from the front tees. Again, I hate to regurgitate myself, reiterate, um, but I play from the first two, the front holes, to save my strength because I play too often to play from the backs on every single hole. Um, I'm going up over the hill here. I don't know if you can see it. I believe you can. Uh, you have to fling or drive, you traditional golfers, up over this hill. The only problem is you can't ever see the people in front of you. And I know there's a threesome in front of me. So I'm not going to make the green. You know, I'm not going to fling 250 yards. I, the day's going to come one day, but right now I'm hoping to get 200. My average is about 180. I can fling 200. I have flung as far as 230. I've gotten within 20 yards of this hole. It doesn't happen a lot, but I've done it. Uh, the first hole is really my warm up, and I got a par after flinging so shortly. So. The first hole should show those of you who can't fling real far that you're still capable of playing well at this game. I really flung poorly at that drive and still parred the hole. Here I typically get pretty good. I fling the ball way out of sight up and over that hill and I should be able to do that here. So let's check it out. I think, I think the gentleman in front of me should be safe. I certainly hope. There's just they need a, Spring Creek needs to add a bell something. Cowbell, more cowbell or a triangle bell or something to let the person behind you know that you're done, in my opinion. I've never hit anybody, although I was hit in two yesterday. I wasn't hit, but the guy's ball rolled, you know, 10, 12 feet up to my heels practically. So you gotta be careful with this hole. Hole number two, Spring Creek Golf Course, 250 yards to the green. Horribly right, hit a tree, uh, not terrible, but nowhere near as far as I normally would get because I hit that tree. I don't know why, or left, I went left, not right. Uh, horribly left, into the tree, that's going to slow my ball down, I'm not going to get as far as I normally do, unfortunately. Alright guys, uh, the tree ricocheted off of it. I'm not unhappy with my distance, but I'm nowhere near as close. I knew the day came when I filmed myself, I'd do worse. I just knew it. But my score's fine, but overall not great. Uh, this drive was another poor one, probably 160 yards. Okay. So let's see what I can do here. Going to the flag, probably about 80, 90 yards to go. Um, not on the fairway. I'm a little bit of the rough, but it's not high rough. It's simple rough, and that doesn't really affect us anyway, right? Um, let's see what I can do to get this flag. I got some hanging tree branches in front of me once again. It's gonna be, it's gonna be difficult. I'll probably hit them.
I'm about ready to stop recording because I suck. My second shot landed just past the bunker um, to the right. I don't know, if, I think you can see the flag right there, right? Um, so I'm probably just going to do my choke again and hope I don't do it too hard. You know what, I'm looking at hanging tree branches. I'm gonna go for a strong bunt instead. I'm gonna use my bunt. I don't normally do it from this far, but I do not wanna hit tree branches again. Very happy with that, guys. I'm within about two inches of the hole, so there's no reason I shouldn't make par. So what I'm showing you here, guys, I am throwing errantly. My drive fling has been short or hitting trees. My second fling, I try to do sidearm because of hanging branches. I end up just past the bunker down a hill. And I wish you could see, I'm going to show you where that shot landed, but I didn't know how to position the camera. You can't really see the green from, from down here because I'm down below a hole. But we're going to see where that ball landed here. Check it out, guys. I'm talking 16 inches from the hole. Poor drive into a tree, put me into the rough, sidearm shot to avoid more trees, put me beside the bunker down a hill, a strong bunt up the hill, and this would be for par. There we go. That's what the bunt can do for you. The, the idea of the bunt, I, I had to pitch that bunt harder than any bunt I've ever performed. I had to pitch it hard, up a hill, down the green, uh, but the idea of the bunt is to get you so close to the pin that you're not going to miss, or it's very unlikely to miss. So, the sidekick's a great shot, too. I utilize it, too. I probably will sometime today. But the bunt saved me there. Another par, even though I am not playing well in regard to the direction and the strength of my fling so far. Fling golf. If you know the short game, it can make up for everything else. It really can. Hole number three, Spring Creek Golf Course, typically about 100 yards, par three. Um, the pin's in the middle, so it's probably about 85, 90, roughly. Uh, I do have a range finder. I don't want to take so much time, guys. I'm already taking time to record. So far, I'm still good. This course can get really busy. It's a tourist town, guys. It can get really busy. Um, but I'd say it's about 85 yards. Uh, pin placement might make it 90. So we're eh, not quite in the middle. Pin placement, uh, driving pins. Uh, down at my feet and the flags right in the middle of the green so 85 90 yards is my guess so the idea here is i'm going to try to lay up short and possibly bounce or roll a little bit onto the green giving myself well hopefully as close as possible but i hate getting in the back of this green way in the back makes it ridiculous so i don't even care if i make the green here and if i do i'm fine if i don't go very far onto it because i'd rather have a shorter shot from the front end and a ridiculously long shot from the back let's see what let's see what happens what i'm going to do here is i'm going to look like I'm, I'm flinging a typical drive but there's nowhere near the power behind it as is normal so it's going to be the motion's going to be a typical drive like on a three four hundred yard hole that's going to the motion's going to be the same but the power i'm putting in it way less i stand right up at the tee too i don't take any steps here That was bad, guys. I don't know what's going on with my dry flings. They are horrible, but I didn't end up too bad. I don't know if you can see the ball on this camera here, but I don't know, I'm probably 15 feet from the pin, but I'm in the middle of the green, and I bounced this thing 40 yards out, and it rolled the rest of the way. I, I, I am not looking like the powerhouse I can be on drives. I'm just not, but I'm still ending up okay. And hopefully that's encouraging you, those of you who don't fling super far. You don't have to. You just have to be accurate. We'll see where I am right now, coming up soon. All right, guys, my drive got me here. Pin's there. I'm going to putt it. 
I am not a great putter. I would normally probably sidekick or bunt this. But since this is my second shot, I'm going with a putt. I don't expect to make it, but hopefully I can be real close. With the ballistic, again, it's like a pendulum between your pectorials. Best way to remember it, okay? Hold your arm stiff, run it between your pecs, and that's putting, especially for us shorter people on five foot eight with the ballistic. Yeah, I figured I wouldn't make it, but I'm six inches away, so it should be another par. So far we're three holes, three pars. Hopefully I'm showing you some stuff that's helpful, um, especially how to rebound from terrible drives. But that's what I'm doing so far. Next, next hole is hole number four. I love this hole. It sits up on a hill. We'll show you here shortly. Hopefully I can really tear into a drive here. All right, you're looking at hole number four over my right shoulder here. We're up on a elevated hill um, looking well out. If you can see the tall trees to the left, I usually fling past those. Um, there's some tall weeds past that. That's the creek, that's Spring Creek. Um, I'm not gonna hit over that. That probably, to the pin here is probably about 260 yards. And so that would make the creek probably 230 yards. Can I do it? Yes. Will I do it? Doubtful and I don't want to be in the creek. I typically, I don't know if you can see it on this camera, but there's a tiny little patch of weeds that covers a drain plate out there a little bit before the tall weeds in front of the spring creek. I aim for that. That's really what I try to get. I don't always get it, but um, if I can get out in that general region, that's going to give me 40, 45 yards to the pin. And that's my goal. To go about 200 yards here, 190, 200, and have 40, 50 yards to go. Um, I have birdied this hole in the past. I birdied every hole here. Not, a, of course, not at once, I wish. Um, so I'm capable of birdying every hole. I've eagled hole nine. So this hole, I feel I'm capable of getting an eagle here. I never have. But my second shot is typically not too far from the pin. Let's see what I can do here. Uh, we still got the threesome in front of us though, so started recording a little bit too early. Maybe I'll have to edit this down a little bit when I get this out there. Uh, they're now leaving the fairway. Looks like they, all three of them have, have uh, laid up in front of the Spring Creek. And now they're going to the golf cart path to head across the bridge and around the trees. That takes you to the green here. So once they're completely there, we're gonna get going. Got my orange ball. You see me over here? I'm gonna have to move the camera a little bit. Further left than I like. But I'm past the trees. I'm happy with that. I don't think I got to the little clump of weeds that I really like to get to and often do. But that was a decent drive. My best drive so far. Thank God. Because I don't know what's been wrong with me up until this point. Let's go check out the next shot. Alright guys. Um, not a bad shot. I'm past the two trees. I'm not anywhere close to the little clump of weeds up there that I like to try to throw to. I am a good... 20, 30 yards from that. So I am probably 75 yards from the pin. You can see the threesome in front of me there. If you look, just getting finished on the green. So I've got about 75 yards. This again is going to require a shot that looks like I'll stand still, but it's going to drop down my back and I'm going to fling just not as hard as I do on a drive. Um, it's going to be close to as hard as I flung on hole number three because it was 85, 90 yard par three and I've got about 75 yards here. Um, Sometimes I come up short because I'm trying to not 
nail the green and roll the whole way across it. Because that's typically what will happen here. If I hit the green in the air, it's going to roll the whole way across and I'm going to have a long shot. Okay, and this is only my second shot on a par 4, but uh, let's see what I can do with it. I try to often try to sort of do a bump and run, a long bump and run. Now, a chip bump and run, you know, is typically pretty short. This would be a long bump and run, so I probably shouldn't even call it that. But I try to nail the little bit of a slope going up to the green, hoping it bounces onto the green, slowing the roll down. Not always successful, but that's what I typically try to do. Also, roll your wrist. On shots like this, you definitely want to roll your wrist. I say you pretty much want to do that all the time. Okay, it did what I want. It did what I wanted. It, it bounced in front of the green, popped up onto the green, and rolled. Hopefully, that slowed the roll down. I'm not on top of the pin, but hopefully, I'm not ridiculously far away. We'll check it out. All right, guys. Um, my little bump and run idea, uh, fling and run. I don't know, flop and run, because uh, it's a long shot I made for to call it a bump and run. But it's a fling golf bump and run. Just didn't run as far as I thought. It did bump, bounced onto the green, but it slowed it down too much. Now it's a long ways to the pin. Could do the choke from here. I am thinking about doing a sidecar. I don't do them often, but I feel this might be a little too close for the choke and definitely too far for a bunt. I mean, I could bunt it hard, but I'm going to try the sidecar. It's a shot I don't do often, not because I don't like it. I just, just my bunt, my bunt normally saves me and this is too far for that. So I'm gonna try the sidecar. We'll see what it does for me. Don't do it often, so don't be shocked if it's not awesome. Yeah, not awesome, guys. Not awesome. Uh, this might be my first bogey because that's going to be a long putt. Now, for some of you, a five-foot putt's probably not bad, but I am not the world's greatest putter. And that's what I've got left here after a sidecar that wasn't overly impressive. Yep, I missed it. First bogey of the day comes at hole number four. I'm not real happy about that, but hey, it could be worse, right? Um, I blew it with a pretty poor sidecar shot and then a not a great putt for then a short putt. See, I, my short game is typically the choke shot and the bunt to get me within six to ten inches of the hole. When I was five feet away on my par shot, maybe I should have had a better attitude, but I suspected I wasn't going to get it and I didn't. So pars on the first three hole, bogey on hole number five, but at least a decent drive on this one, though nowhere near as far as normal. Next is a par three over Spring Creek. All right, guys, um, hole number five. It's Spring Creek, Hershey, Pennsylvania. You can see the wooden bridge just to my right. Um, we're flinging over that. It's probably about 180 yards, 180 to 190 yards, par three. Got to go over the creek there where that wooden bridge is. There used to be some high weeds. They cut some of them down, which I'm appreciative of. Um, not that I really go into them. just think it looks nicer. It gives you a clearer, clearer shot of where you're going. Um, also, this creek goes where the bridge is and goes around the bend there to the right. And sometimes that pin, it's about in the middle of the green now, but sometimes it's on the right side and you can get in those weeds and in the creek if you're trying to get as close to the pin as possible, you know, because it's just the slightest, you know, twist on your fling club when you, when you fling could get you in trouble here. I shouldn't have to worry about that here, but I'll, I often go left here. I'm not sure why towards that bunker. 
Um, but not all the time. I've nailed it right in the middle before. I have come about eight inches away from a hole in one here in the past. I put a, pictures up at Fling Golf Fanatic uh, Facebook page. If you're not following the Fling Golf Fanatic Facebook page, I'd ask you to do so. I got Sonny Walton on it with me. He hasn't posted anything here yet, but I'm sure he will. He's a busy guy. does a lot of websites for a living. Um, but here, you can see the threesome walking off. Uh, so it'll be my turn to go here very shortly. I don't want to go early and get go left and nail somebody. Um, hopefully I'll go right in the middle. Again, that pin is sitting about in the middle of that. It's a big greens. Big greens here at Fling, at, uh, yeah, Fling Golf. <laughs> big greens here at Spring Creek. They're, they're, all the greens are quite large. So that's where the challenge can come in. They move these pins and it's like a brand new hole. This is in the middle, middle left. So let's see what I can do, and hopefully I don't go way too far left, and I definitely don't want in the water, right? On the green, still rolling. I'm a good ways from the pin, but I'm on the green to the right, in the middle. So I'm in the middle of the green, just far right of the pin. I'm happy with that. Uh, we'll see what my next shot might be. It'll probably be a choke shot. Uh, I wasn't impressed with my sidecar on the last hole, so I'll probably do a very short, very long choke up, choke shot to get closer to the hole here. Maybe a bunt, but it looks too far for a bunt. Uh, we'll go up and check it out. Right, guys, I said I was in the middle of the green. I'm more towards the back and definitely far right of the pin. I'm going to walk over to the ball. I think you'll be able to see me. Um, I think I'm going to try a bunt. It's a long bunt, but I, I'm pretty comfortable with that. Not a bad bunt, but not as strong as it should have been. Hopefully I can sink this for par. Unbelievable. Perfectly online, a little too hard. It did the run the rim thing, so that's another freaking bogey for me, making me a little annoyed. Um, perfectly in line putt, just went up to the hole, ran around the rim and landed an inch away from the hole. Unreal. But uh, still, that bunt was pretty decent, but if I would have put a little more on it, I guarantee I'd have made that putt. Uh, the bunt is a great tool, uh, but you've got to make sure you get you get the, the strength that you need, and that I let up a little bit on it, not wanting to run past the hole and left myself, wasn't really too long of a putt, I, I, I hit it too hard and it just went around the lip a tiny bit. Stinks, but hey, not terrible. But I'm not happy to be two over already on five holes. And it's cutting off my head. Okay guys, over my left shoulder is Spring Creek hole number six. It's over 300 yards to the pin. All right, I'm not gonna get there, obviously. Uh, we are hitting over Spring Creek once again. You can see it as it spokes down here in front of me. That's not a problem. It does scoot around here to the right, which I have gotten into before because the hole, now it looks like the pin is quite straight and that's rare. Uh, I don't know if you can see the flag from here, but it's quite straight, um, very rare. Usually the pin here is around those trees and I've gotten into trouble trying to fling over the trees to get closer to the pin So I typically stay a little left here. You can see the threesome in front of me out there I'm not going to drive that far, but that's the general direction of where I'll be going I'm safe to go now because they are out of my range. I'm not going to hit them at that point They are probably 300 yards at this point about 30 40 yards from the hole. It's about 330 340 yards to the hole They're probably at about 300 yards 
Even if I go 200, I'm still 100 yards away from him. But I'm not rushing here because it's a threesome and I'm letting him get ahead of me and it's giving me the time to film as well. Uh, but again, hole number six, I'm only going to do nine, guys. I'm not filming 18 holes. I do two rounds of nine here. It's a nine hole course here at Spring Creek, Hershey, Pennsylvania. Um, so I'm not going to do 18. I guess you're just going to see me do the same nine. Even if I do better, you know, hey, still giving you an idea of how I play my game. All right. And so far, I'm a little disappointed being plus two already, hole number six. Not the end of the world, but I have shot even here numerous times. Um, I've actually shot an under one under par on nine holes once, so I'm not saying that's my normal thing, that I'm that great. But being plus two before reaching hole seven, eight, you know, eh, kind of worrisome that I'm going to end up plus four or something on nine holes. That would not be good. I mean, I just finished the day yesterday. Two rounds of 18. The first round, I was plus five on 18 holes, and the second round, I was plus six. So, you know, I'm probably worried about too much, but being plus two at six holes, just starting the six hole, just doesn't feel good for me. I'm not going to try not to let it affect me too badly, though. Right on top of the camera. I hope I don't come up and smash it with my ballistic. I actually want to go this way. That's something you could determine, guys. You know, you can slide back and forth just like a regular golfer, depending on where you're going. And I want to be more to the right here and throw a little towards the left. Hopefully not too left. I'm always looking over my shoulder to make sure my club head is straight and not angled. Guys, if you get it, if you're not looking over your shoulder and you're this way or you're this way, guess what? You're not playing straight. So you know, I'm always looking over to make sure I'm straight. I've got a loose grip. I am I am choked the whole way up to the end of the handle. Okay. Loose grip. Club is straight. I completely lost that. I, I don't know what happened. I'm filming, so I'm jinxed today or something. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fling another one because I, I didn't see where that went at all. Hopefully I'll run into it, but I didn't see it. See why I didn't see it. The sun's behind a cloud, but it's peeking out at the white part of the cloud just enough to be like a camera flash in my eyes. And I lost that one. I did see that one a little better, but that that sunspot right like a weatherman here. Where am I going? Right there. You can't tell it on the camera, but I'm telling you, it's super bright when you look up into it, and that's about the height of my flings. So it's blinding me. Let's go see where they are. Guys, the beauty of fling golf. I lost the shot in the sun, just walked straight and ran into it, okay? It was slightly left, but still well, well on the fairway. Um, right here, I'm probably, oh, I don't know, 120 yards, 130 yards to the pin, just pretty much straight ahead. But to the left lies Spring Creek again. It's always, a, not always, but a lot of holes, it's a danger here. So I'm gonna wanna try to keep it straight. It's to the right is the creek, to the left is the creek, in the middle is the pin. Let's see what I can do here. And this is the first ball I threw. I did throw two. I picked the other one up. It was a little more right and a little less, not as far, um, which is fine. It was a second shot because I thought I might have lost the first one. Should have known better. It was pretty much straight ahead. Again, is that straight in there? Bounced up on the green. Can't tell how far. It's not close, not super far. We'll go check it out. I'm happy. I'm on the green in two for sure. All right, guys. You see the ball here? It's actually on the fringe of the green. It rolled a little further than I thought. So I'm going to try my bunt. That's what a bud's supposed to do for you. If it's not going to go in for birdie, which I would have preferred, 
that's six to eight inches from the hole. That's the bunt for you. That's what it's supposed to do for you. Eliminate long punts. Punts. Not punts. That'd be football. We're not kicking the ball. Although they do play kickball. Kick golf here at Spring Creek. We're playing fling golf. Back to par. After two bogeys in a row, it feels good to get a par again. Hole number seven, probably about 240 yards, between 240 and 260, depending on the tee pin placement and the pin, the flag pin placement, uh, right here. Again, you're going, that isn't Spring Creek, it's a pretty much a dry gulch. Uh, you wouldn't, couldn't walk in there if you wanted to, it's just a jungle of weeds and mess. It's a, they call it like a natural area for animals and such, whatever, someplace you don't want to hit into. I, I'll easily drive, you know, fling drive over that. Um, threesome in front of me is probably far enough that I can go. I've never hit the green here. That would be nice. I usually get within, I don't know, 30, 40 yards. Second shot. Flag is almost always at the back of this green, which I'm kind of thankful for because it's a majorly down slope green. It's flat on the back for about five or six feet and then slopes down from there. So unless you hit in the middle, and that'll be my second shot, not this one. You're rolling down. You're rolling back. It's annoying. I typically can get close enough to the back that I'll stay still, but that doesn't mean I'll be close to the pin. This first shot, I'm hoping for 200 yards. All right, I think I'm going to go. They're all three on the green. I put this camera in a bad spot. I think I'm going to have to move it back. Bear with me. All right, I had to move my camera there, guys. It was just too much in the way. Again, I drape this way down where it's practically touching my hind end. Um, I look, is it straight? I want to go a little bit left here. Uh, I went pretty left. But still on the fairway. I went more left than I had planned, but still on the fairway. You know, I'm pretty good. We'll check out that next shot. I'm hoping it's an easy shot. Should be an easy shot to the green. How close to the pin, I can't say. We'll see. All right, guys, not a terrible shot. It's probably only about 175 yards. I typically can swing up to that bush there. So my power's just not with me today, but I've been all right. You know, I've been all right. You're not seeing my power as much as I can. It is my third time playing in two days. I'm going to blame that. And some kind of goofy thing in my head since I'm filming. I'm convinced that has something to do with it. I'm used to being on camera. I've been, worked in professional wrestling for years. I have no camera fear at all. But I think a desire to show off on film a little bit is hurting me. Uh, but again, my score's okay but my distances have not been great. But this leaves me with, what is that, 60 yards to the pin. Again, you want to get it, this is a little bit more down on this, again, huge sloping green than is typical, but it seems to always be towards the back and towards the right. Uh, so that's what I got to do. I try to get it in the back towards the right. I'm not always successful. I frequently go left here. I'm not exactly sure why. I'm a little bit afraid of the hill that drops off in the back of this green. It's a monster hill that is horrible to have to fling up out of as you go down there. Um, I don't do that often, but when I have, it's miserable. So I want to get it to the back of the green, but I'm a little nervous to go too far. But I want to go back and right. I will probably go towards the front and left. <laughs> I will not step into this at all. It'll be a typical shot with not as much power and no step. Hit way out front and it rolls left every time. So not a great position. I'm on the green, but I'm a good ways from that pin. I've got a bunt or putt uphill. 
with a with a green that breaks pretty strongly. So let's see what I can do. Guys, in an effort to keep my bag off the green, this is going to be a long shot from a camera, and I have nobody here to zoom in. I got to do this myself. And there might be a way to do it, you know, with a remote or something, but I'm just not. I consider myself fairly tech guy, fairly techy, but I don't know all the ins and outs, especially of video editing. Um, but I'm going to show you the best I can. I am, oh good lord, a good ways from the pin, I would say. 20, 25 feet. Uh, I got to go uphill. I probably should try a sidecar. I'm not real comfortable with all the better I am at them. So I'm probably going to do a bun. Little bit of a weak bun. I should have I should have bunted harder, but we'll see what I can do. Can't zoom in on the front view, so best I can do, guys. I've got four foot putt. Not real comfortable with that. Bailed myself with my bunt, leaving myself four foot away, four feet away from the pin. Missed the putt. It was close, but not close enough. So there's my third bogey. Three over on seven hole or eight holes. No, I'm going to the eighth hole. Three over on seven. I really gotta hold this, guys. I mean, I was six, five over and six over on 18. So at this pace, it's not bad to match what I did yesterday, but I'm not gonna improve at this rate. But I could get a birdie. Not holding my breath, but I could. Uh, that was my third bogey there. Um, just went over my bunt or a sidekick when I don't do it just right. And it leaves me with something longer than, you know, 10 inches. I'm almost always doomed. Not, not 100% of the time. Sometimes I nail putts that blow my mind. But not frequently. I'm not a good putter. So I plan on getting a green, an artificial turf, installed at my home next spring. I've got to become a better putter. I just have to. All right, guys. Um, hole number eight, hundred yards. This green, uh, excuse my language, but this green is a bitch. Um, it slopes up and down, so it basically goes like that. I'm like we remember the break dancing days. That's what this. That's what this green looks like. Yes, I used to break dance as a teenager. <laughs> Honest to God, mind blowing. I know. Um, so this is tough. I'm going to want to lay up short here, roll or bounce the ball onto the green, because I do not want in the back of that green because it's all downhill from there, and you will almost always end up back at this end, unless you just have a magical touch, which I have on occasion, but it's rare. This is the hardest green on the course, in my opinion. The last one, seven, is tough, and I bogeyed it. This one's tougher. The pin placement is towards the front. That helps. When that pin is in the middle, I have double bogeyed this hole. It is nasty, it is difficult, and it stresses me out on some level, especially when I'm already plus three. Let's see what I can do here. I'm going to try to lay up and just roll softly up towards the hole. That's my best shot. See, it's going way back and way to the right. I'm in trouble. I bounced that ball halfway between here and the green and it still rolled, rolled, 
roll. What's the song? Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. That's what my ball did. And now I'm in trouble. Let's see if I can get out of trouble, but no promises. Not good. This is a tough shot to capture, guys. I'm way in the back of the green, not on the fringe, but close. The flag's right here, setting up a camera by myself. Luckily, there's no one close to me. I don't know if you're even going to be able to see me from where I'm putting it at. I don't. Trying to get the flag and the ball in the same shot is difficult. That's how far apart I am. But if I disappear here, try to watch the green. Shot my yellow ball here. I've got to make this for par, and it's very unlikely. Very unlikely side kick shot. I need this for far. I have my doubts. I hate this green, guys. I hate this green with a passion. Yeah, I could light this green on fire. I hate this green. All right, guys, this is one of my favorite holes, hole number nine, again, up on a hill overlooking the fairway down to the clubhouse. Um, sometimes you can't see the Hershey smokestacks from where my camera's positioned right now. That's kind of a cool view when you can. My goal here is to go as right as possible. I mean, up and over these trees. Even though the green is straight ahead, there's a big hill. And if you bounce over that hill, I'll, I'll clear the hill. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll hit on the hill in the very least. The bounce, you don't know what it's going to do, ever. It's either going to bounce straight ahead, which is great, bounce right, which isn't bad, or bounce left and get you down in this grove of trees, which is horrible. I've been down there while, while flinging straight. I've gotten ridiculous bounces. It's not my fault. Just hit in the middle of that hill, and it's going to bounce, and you don't know which way it's going to bounce. If you get a good bounce, well, God bless you. If you get a bad bounce, it's just ruined the hole for you, most likely. I mean, flinging up through trees is ridiculously hard. A sidearm shot doesn't cut it for me most times. You saw on hole number two, I got beside a bunker down a hill when I did the sidearm. I'm not good at it. Um, so my goal is to go very right here. So I don't know how well you can see the ball. I'm using a bright orange one. But if you see it go extremely right, that's my goal. I want it to go extremely right. I'm out of the shot, but I'll be right back in. Pretty right. But it came back to the middle. It curved. It went, started right, swerved back to the left. I hit in the middle. Thankfully, it stayed in the middle. It did not go crazy left. Again, my power's not here today, guys. I have thrown, I have flung so much further. But of course I record myself and I look like a flunky. I look like somebody who, you know, can't fling that far. I, I'm telling you guys, I have flung 200 to 230 yards. Now, my average is probably about 180, 190. That, I don't know. I'm thinking it's around that range, 175, 180. Um, we'll see when we get to it. But if I get a good second shot at the pin that's right in the middle of the green, sure would be nice to get a birdie, but I'm not holding my breath. I'm plus four and I'm really not happy about that at all. All right, guys, again, my power isn't what it normally is. I normally fling the ball to the bottom of this hill. Okay, just another 30 yards or so. So I'm probably about 175 instead of 200, 205. Still got a nice clean shot. I got two bunkers that I could land in. Don't want to do that. Um, I have eagled this hole. I have made this in two shots. And the uh, the golf pro here was here when I did it. He was cutting grass right here. I was on that side of the fairway instead of this side. I flung the ball. It bounced once, twice, and on the third bounce, it smacked the flag and fell directly in the hole. Yeah, the golf pro was here, so I have a witness. I have eagled this hole. Am I predicting that here? Not on your life. That was a, you know, I don't want to say once in a lifetime shot, but it's not something you can count on. All right? So I'm going to throw as straight as I can towards that pin in the middle of the green and hopefully don't under or overdo it. Again, I'm going to stand still and just give it some power this way. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's towards the back of the green. Good ways from the pin, so I'm either going to need a sidecar, a choke, or a bunt to get it close for me. Hopefully I get it close. I really, really need to stay at par here. I do not want to go more than four over on nine holes. I do not, under any circumstance. Serious downslope here, guys, so I think I'm going to bunt, but I got to be real careful. This is really going down. A birdie. Exactly what I needed. I bunted that sucker in down a hill into the hole. That's the bunt of the day. That's the stroke of the day. This is fling golf. Nine holes plus three. Because I just took one away, baby. Fling golf is golf minus frustration.